it's game week. What's what's the feel like around the, the complex? I mean, everybody's just excited and ready to play the first game. What do you see from their defense? What makes them unique? Um, they run a 3-3 stack, so um, we're just trying to learn how to get our calls and adapt to their defense. Just I mean, obviously the two quarterbacks going at it. I mean, from your from your vantage point, how how do you see those two going? Oh, those two guys are battling. Not, I mean, both of them look good right now, and we're just gonna leave it up to coach and whoever he picks. We're just gonna roll with them and stay behind them and support them. How do y'all keep that from being a distraction or something you worry about? Think about. I mean, we just work and just try to get better every day, so that we really don't let it play out in our minds what's going on. Are you guys as anxious to see who takes the first snap as we are? Yeah, we we pretty anxious because uh, we know we're gonna have to uh, surround that guy, give him support and comfort, make him feel good out there. You feel, you, you feel you guys can be just as good with either guy back there? Yes, sir. Jacob's a Mobile guy. Did you ever cross paths with him playing in school? Nah, um, I never played against Jacob. I mean, I just met him when he got up here. He's a good guy. It seems like these days what everybody wants to know about a quarterback at Alabama is can he lead us to the national championship. Do you feel like either one of those guys is, is capable enough, mature enough to do that? Both of those guys are capable of um, leading us to the um, national championship. We just got to support them, like I, like I keep saying, um, be behind them, and make sure they're confident. They have that confidence every week, no matter who's out there playing. It's running backs. Y'all can have a. Y'all got so many running backs. Do you think that's got to be a confidence builder or comfortable? Yeah, that's that's a big confidence builder. I mean, you can put any one of those guys in. You break a big run, and you got me in front blocking for those guys, open up those holes. So they, they can help out, help one of those quarterbacks get their confidence up. Can you break that down a little bit more and talk about what some of these running backs bring to the table, in your opinion, as you blocked in front of them? Um, Derek got that power. He's just a horse man, man, back there. TJ got quickness and speed. Drake got quickness and speed. So those guys, you put any one of them out there and they can break for a big play. Your, your role's evolved. I mean, when you, a few years ago, you were kind of one of those tailback kind of guys. Now, is it kind of humbling in a sense to, to have to kind of become a blocker more than a I mean, runner? Very humble. Um, to give up something that you love for the uh, love of the team and for the better of the team. So. That's something I had to give up, and I'm I'm happy with what I'm doing now. I mean, just Ben, was it disappointing? Did you ever think about, you know? No, nah, I wasn't really disappointed because I've been doing what I'm doing now all my life. You like to hit? Yeah, high school, park league, all that type of stuff. I've been doing this ever since I was young. How do you personally like measure your success? Because you know your contributions might not necessarily show up on the stat sheet or something like that. I mean, I just don't matter. I just, just want to see the team win. And I'll be happy when the team win and we're playing well. Talk about your knee a little bit. You know, when you go through all these various agility drills, et cetera, how, how's it responding to all this stuff? Responding very well. I mean, last year, I was scared to do anything on it. But right now, I, I'm willing to do anything on it. So it's, it's a big difference. And I feel so much confident than I did um, last year. You feel like you're 100% then? Yes, sir. Do you have a block that you remember that stands out as like that was the best block, the best? Um, that was just in Oklahoma when I opened up that hole for TJ. He broke by, I think, about 20 or 30 yards. You just catch it. Was it a linebacker or was it? Yes, yeah, a linebacker. You just catch him straight on? Yes, sir. Did you, did you let him know about it after you, you got up? No, I just laughed. <laughs> just laughed about it and kept moving. Is it different, like, for you blocking for... There's three different guys. Like you said, they all have different skill sets. Do you have to do anything a different way when they're in? When, when they're in, you got to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> or you're going to get the shoulder broke. So that's, that's the one big thing by him. What's your thought about the team being ranked number two in the nation? I mean, I really had no, had no thoughts on it. I mean, we just got to go out there and show, show everybody that we're number one. We just play like we're number one the whole season. Are you excited about the new playoff system where they got it set up? Like a Final Four? Uh, I, really do, I really don't care about it, but it's what people want to see, so they gave them what they want. Saban's a West Virginia guy. He grew up in West Virginia. Is anyone going to approach that topic with him this week? Did you? Has anyone talked to him about that? Is that? Oh, no. He might have, but he always just tell us how he grew up in Virginia all the time at his dad's tie, tie shop, I think. <laughs> he didn't have any memories of West Virginia for you? Nah, not that I remember. <laughs> It took us a long time to start asking you about expectations and rankings and everything. Is 
Whereas before, we always talked about you were always number one and everything. Is there less pressure? You're not trying to three-peat. You're trying to get back to it. Is there less pressure going in this? More focus, maybe? It's just more focus. We just want to get back to winning um, national championship and just playing ball around here because what happened last year, like somebody said before, it's, it's not the norm for us. And we're just trying to get our team back focused and back playing physical and tough. Does that make this first game games? more important to you in terms of the uh, having lost the last two games? Like, yes, it makes it very important because those two games we came out slow. We, we didn't have much energy. And um, we're just trying to see how we improve from those two games. Yeah, like you said, is that, is that fast start important to kind of just put everything behind you and build some confidence early? Nah, not really. We just, we just want to go out there and play and just see what we're working with and build confidence every game. When Saban talks about resurrecting the identity of the program, what do you think that means? Just to get back to playing physical and tough. Thanks, dude. Thank, Thank you. you.